All right, in this lesson, we're going to work on the message body. But before we do that, we gotta fix a few things first. So real quick, let's go to our Visual Studio, to our resources, for our views, layouts, app, and let's remove this background. And then we're gonna close this, go to our CSS SAS chart. And then in here, let's go to the top. We're gonna add a few classes. The first to be the image. We're gonna make all images have the object fit to cover. And then on top, we're gonna add a few SAS variables. So just comment that and add variables. You now, if you don't know what variables are in SAS, they're just like JavaScript, PHP, any, any other kind of variables. So we're gonna add this and make um, header height, which will be 60 pixels. Another one, footer height, which will be again 60 pixels. Now I'm gonna add something like base color. All right, so this is a base color. Let's just make it a little bit darker. All right, so it's like so dark. Next, we are going to go down to our info, item info. In the info item in here, we're gonna add, we're gonna add an ampersand, that, and then type hover, the class, and then we're gonna add, change the color on hover a little bit. All right, this we're gonna make lighten. This is a, a SAS, you know, it's a SAS like function which you can change the lighten of the color. Let's type the base color. Remember the, remember the dollar sign here. And then the percentage should be 18%. Right, and then in the item info, all of them should be uh, cursor, pointer, and then go back to the name again, cursor, pointer, go back to the return, add a cursor, pointer. All right, so if you go back to our Chrome right now and refresh, we're right, so gonna have the object cover of uh, feet, object feet of cover there, pointer, 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 and the hover there. All right, so now let's just fix this item chart list. Go, so go to the chart okay. list item date, add a margin right of three pixels. All right now, we are good to go. Now let's go to our chat box. In here, we're just going to remove all of this. We're gonna type a uh, message body and here we're gonna add another message body footer footer I make that an element but right. inside the footer we're going to have something like date and down here we're gonna have another something called red in here we're gonna add a class a bootstrap icons class copy that paste it in here and then just change this to bi bi check all right, now let's add some things here like date, five hours, hours ago. The message body, just here on top, make sure you add this in the body, but just, you know, just before the message body footer. Type lorem, then click enter. Again, click enter, type lorem, and then click enter. All right, so now let's go back to our chat, to our CSS file. In here on the bottom, go to the chat body, click enter. Let's just copy the class, message body. Right here, type dot message body. Right in here, we're gonna add a display block. All right, max, max width 80%. Okay, and then let's add another class called dot message body footer. Well, that's the same as we added the other one. So this one is going to be width 100 display flex, all right, justify content, and let's just add another align items, right, right. And inside the message body footer, we're going to add something like dot date. Uh, font size 13 pixels and then padding padding right 
so seven pixels and then just after the date class add another class called red all right in here font size make it 16 pixels color gray all right so now we can make this a margin a message body 5 pixels to 11 pixels all right and then in the, the padding let's say 11 pixels with 14 pixels all right and then in here in the message body we're going to add a background color of Gainsborough. All right. Yes. Border radius. We can make this 9 pixels. Let's go back to our Chrome and refresh. All right. So we have something like this that we want. This is good like that. But let's just change, remove this border color here. And reduce the padding as well so let's go back to our chrome to our visual studio in here remove this and let's just reduce this to like 11 2 and then this color should be a little bit lighter the background color of the message body format the document and then if we go back now and try to refresh all right much better but let's work with the padding now in here so go back to our visual studio and go to our message body in here let's work with the padding 4 pixels and 7 pixels margin reduce the margin to 8 All right, let's go back to our chrome All right now it's looking a little bit much better All right just like that now this the tick is not showing here let's change that go back to our visual studio and in the red just type i a class and then remove the font size to this remove copy remove that let's make this a little bit darker I don't want it to be this much gray font size like that margin let's say three pixels all right refresh all right now it's there okay it's there now we can actually make this bigger say 21 margin two pixels okay all right now it's working now it's now looking fine so we can now go back and then we can just go back to our message body in here let's format the document all right so this message body we're gonna copy it we're gonna copy it and then i'm gonna paste it all right, and then I'm gonna go back to our Chrome so we can have two message bodies. And then you can see when I see the gap between here is too, too, too small. So let's go back to our Visual Studio and I'm gonna move this to the right. So to our Visual Studio first, let's go to chat.scss. And then in here, in the message board, let's add a padding on, margin on top of 11 pixels. And then here, go to the top. We're gonna add a few classes here. So make this message that's a message body me make sure it's a class message body me all right this is going to be uh, margin left auto another class message body sorry message body receiver all right this is going to be let's change this to background color base color color of the text should be white all right and then here we can actually so let's let's just go back to down there so we can remove this class let's go back to our message body and then get copy this background color right go to our top and then add this to me so add the color in and then the all right so if we go back and go like this and then refresh all right so it's looking something like this because I haven't, yet, I haven't yet added the classes so let's go to our chat box message body me message body receiver all right and let's go back in here make sure this is correct make it message all right so let's copy that go to our chat and then paste it in the first message body receiver 
in here message body receive message body me go back to our chrome and refresh all right we have something like this now two different message bodies and then in here we are going to let's push this one the second one to the right to our video studio and in here actually we can add a margin left of auto but for that to work no oh, so we, we, we already have this class margin left auto but for that to work we have to remove this one we have to change this a little bit let's add on in the message body we have to change this otherwise it will override the other one margin top to 11 pixels so if you go back and type that okay so now we have two message bodies that are working for the sender and my message all right now we can actually change this color for this one we can go back for the red let's just copy this this whole class copy that first comment the class go to the top and then paste that in the message body me first now we can just uh, ignore that we're not we only want to change the color of this to darker darker shade and then in here we're going to paste this and we're going to ignore that the color for this one is all right is all right all right so if we go back like that well, let's go back to receiver and make it lighter and refresh all right but it's not gonna show anyway so yeah so this is it for this video guys we have added you now the message body for the for the sender and receiver and next we're going to work next we're gonna work on this one the input all right see you in the next video